Hey, we're here with Rob over at Massey Automotive in his personal shop. Say hi, Rob. Hi. We're here with his 1985? 84. 84 Lotus Esprit Turbo that he has done some work to. Uh, this is uh, the completely different one than mine in that it is nice. And it also has been uh, LS swapped. You just raise it up. Just take a peek because yours isn't as busy as mine. Uh, this is how you do it correctly. There's AC right there. LS1 out of a SS? Yeah, 99 uh, Z28 or Camaro SS. With, a, I think it's just got a cam, right? Yeah, just a cam and uh, shorty headers. And it's running Terminator X. Same Terminator as mine. X, and it's got a flex fuel sensor, so you can run E85. You can see a lot of similarities because I stole every one of his ideas uh, <laughs> because he's an engineer. And they see his lack of wiring harness everywhere because uh, he does things correctly. Interior is done completely. I think you're redoing the seats now, right? Uh, the seats are, yeah, the original seats are being redone. And uh, obviously the steering wheel is, is uh, still a work in progress. Steering wheel is being 3D printed as we speak. Going to take about two days on that. But interior has been done. Paint's original or has not been done recently. You'll notice the MSD uh, solid state relays. He taught me about those and I'm using them all everywhere. Um, it's actually got a stereo in his too. Just a little walk around. Anything, uh, uh, little cool things like a hydraulic uh, parking brake. All the controls on the steering wheel using a Porsche, what is that, G50 uh, transaxle? Yeah. With a Renegade kit? No, it was, uh, it's all custom. Uh, custom aluminum mounts on the motor and on the transmission. And What was uh, the spacer plate? The spacer plate is a Kennedy, Kennedy spacer Kennedy, plate. Kennedy, that's right. Kennedy that's Engineering right. spacer plate and fly on the middle. Um, it's a shift, uh, cable shifter. You can see the back of it right there. We had to, he actually modified something. And That's the only thing it. I had to modify on the body was to get that um, transmission to fit back there. Seems to fit all very much uh, better than mine. Um, even the little side sills there too. Helps that it doesn't have a giant intercooler sitting on top. Or turbos or anything like that, but you know, to each their own. Um, this car actually, he took the body off had the frame powder coated, uh, stripped and powder coated, and then put the body back on. So he was able to take the wiring harness off, completely redo it, and also, what uh, HVAC unit did you use? It's got a, um, what is it, classic, Cla uh, what's the brand? It's the one that people use in the hot rods all the time. Um, Vintage Air. Vintage Air. And, it's got uh, a Vintage Air magnum system. So it's got all uh, stepper motors for the, the blend doors and everything. And uh, it's a really nice system. Yeah. And it controlled all uh, through momentary contacts here. And this is also in, in the vein of mine. Everything's been done about three times uh, because that's times. at least. And the uh, magic it's, uh, it's the interior. Everything's a little bit different than mine, but same dash. Uh, a lot of the same features, ashtray. Look at that. <laughs> but uh, really well done. So if you want one done correctly, go to Massey Automotive. He's got a couple of them over there right now. See ya.